let's learn how you can add these horizontal scrolling effect and vertical scrolling effect to your prototype in Figma. First, you'll need to understand how the layers are structured for your files. For me, I have this main screen, which is the outermost container, and within the main screen, I have two auto layouts, content and tab bar, which is the navigation. Within the content, I have the header, it has the status bar, the search bar, and the tabs, which we want to scroll horizontally. And then we also have the user list, which we want to scroll vertically. It has all of these different user cards, extends all the way outside of the screen. I'm just gonna take the tab bar outside for now so we can see the screen better. Now for scrolling interaction to work in Figma, you'll need to understand that the children layers, so the content inside a frame needs to overflow outside or needs to exceed outside its parent's frame. For the tabs here, inside I have six different buttons here. So these buttons need to extend outside the parents, which is the tabs, width because we want horizontal scrolling. In order to do that, we can just simply select the tabs. I'm gonna change the width to fill. This way, the tabs, which is the parent, is always gonna be within its parents. So it's not gonna exceed outside the phone screen, but the content within the tabs, which are the buttons here, overflows outside the phone screen. So that's what we want. You also need to make sure that the prototype settings, you've selected the parent layers and you change the overflow to horizontal. So now if you play this, now the horizontal scrolling effects works perfectly. For vertical scrolling, the same principle applies. The cards need to extend outside its parents, which is called user list. At the moment, I have set the height to hug. So I'm gonna change this to fill container. Now you see that the height ends at the very edge of the screen here, which is what we want and the content within it, which is the user list card, exceed the height by a mile. So you have all of these overflowing content here. Don't forget to go to the prototype tab, change the overflow setting to vertical. And if we play this, now it kind of works. The scrolling effect works, but they're also seeping through the gaps here between the search, the status, and the tab. So definitely, we do not want this. To fix that, it's very simple. You just select the elements that we're not gonna scroll. In this case, it's the header. Just add a fill to it and give it the same fill as the background color. So I'm just gonna use the eyedropper here. Now, if we play it once again, it's gonna be hidden behind the header tab. And now I'm gonna add back the tab bar to the phone screen. So Control X, paste it here. If I play the prototype, it still works. The horizontal works perfect. The vertical kind of works, but then once you reach the very end of the list, the last content here touches the tab bar. And sometimes user might not be sure whether they've reached the end of the list. Are there still more things that I can't scroll or is it still loading? So we don't want the user to be confused. We want to provide clarity. A nice way to do that is by leaving a gap or an empty space between the tab bar and the last scrollable elements of these list. So to do that, it's very easy, you just go to the main screen and since I have already set this up, everything else other than the tab bar is inside this content. And now we've added back the tab bar, you can just add a gap of 32 pixels. This way the content will leave an extra room of 32 pixels, so it's not gonna touch the tab bar. Once we play the prototype, if I scroll all the way to the bottom here, it's gonna nest right at the edge of the content frame, which is 32 pixels away from this tab bar here. And it always looks better when you have some extra breathing room between the contents on your screen. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found this useful. I hope you can use this and incorporate the scrolling effects to your prototype. If you found this video useful, please do give it a like, consider subscribing, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one.